guys, Solar Power Gaming here, back with another Wi-Fi battle. Today is a Uber battle versus Kenshin. Let's get straight into this Uber battle. It is a very, very, very nice win for me. And his team really has no strategy, just a bunch of Ubers mixed up. So I'm going to start off with my epic stealth rocking Groudon. And he is going to start off with his Dialga. That pressure really hurts me. Now, my, Dial my Dialga has the drought, gonna fire blast everything. But I was predicting him to go out since I know a fire blast could just knock this thing out. But I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks over predicting, thinking that I could get a free turn when he switches out. He does not switch out, so it looks like his Dialga is just on the this team to have the Stealth Rocks up. So now he's going to switch out and go for the Deoxys defense form. And the second pressure exerting onto me at my Groudon. Except the Fire Blast is only going to do about a quarter of its health. Not very much. And he has the leftovers. Which is really going to hurt. No one is going to heal it. But then it's going to toxic me, toxic my Groudon. And that is really going to make my leftovers on this Groudon useless. So now I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. It is going to miss. He's going to get free turn to get toxic and leftovers. So now I'm going to get toxic. But I have my leftovers. Which didn't go that time. But um... Now he's going to use the seismic toss, which, and now I'm going to go for the toxic on it so I can whittle it down, whittle it down and get rid of that leftovers. Don't need that. Any of that, I can just poison that health back away. <laughs> My bulky grout on is bulky as ever. Poison does a lot. So now, looks like he's going to go for the recover. Gonna recover back all of his damage, but he still has the poison. Since recover and heal bell aren't exactly the same move. And now, I'm going to go for my last fire blast because of the pressures. It That was my last fire blast I could use in this whole entire battle. And it is going to miss. Which is just great. So now, I'm going to switch out here, because I really want my ground on for later. So, I'm going to send out the epic, the one, the only, amazing, pressurizing Mew 2. Now, he's going to go for this seismic toss as I switch in here, and going to bring me down to, um, about half half-ish, a little over half, and I am, I'm predicting his taunt next turn, well, now this turn, I'm predicting the taunt, so I just decide to go for the shadow ball, and that will bring it down to the yellow, and he is going to taunt me just like I predicted, but it won't matter because I, or uh, I didn't use Calm Mind. This is my epic calm minding shadow ball Mewtwo I have here. Now, he is going to save his Deoxys defense for death fodder. And I am just going to go for the Aura Sphere, knowing that it cannot miss and that it can take out the Deoxys. But a very good, bad prediction on his part. Because I am just going to go for the Aura Sphere and get this Arceus down to the yellow. It did about three quarters. And he's just gonna die next turn, so he just goes for the Extreme Speed. And that is going to bring me down to the red, about 38. Now my second Aura Sphere is just going to take Arceus out.
Now he is going to go into his Rayquaza and go for the extreme speed. But the extreme speed, look at this, I have 38 right now, 38 hit points. His extreme speed only does one hit point. I don't know what the heck went wrong, but look at it. Look, 37. I have no idea. That life orb is going to hurt it more than it hurts me. Now I'm just going to be able to go for the Shadow Ball and take the Rayquaza out. Sorry, adjusting the camera here. Now my taunt's going to wear off, but there's really nothing I can do anymore since I have 37 HP left. And now... He is going to go, he's going to go into his own Mewtwo and is going to take me out with an Ice Beam. Because Mewtwo's are a boss, no matter what side they're on. But Ferrothorns are a different story. Only if you have a Ferrothorn, that's his boss. So now I'm going to go into my Garatina, going to scare it out with either a Shadow Sneak or a Shadow Force. That I think he's predicting, but I forgot that... Caratina as a dragon type. Just, just thinking it was a ghost type, but no, he's going to go for the ice beam, bring me down to 28 HP left, and I'm just gonna try to get damage on it since Shadow Force takes two turns. It he can just switch out, so I'm just gonna do Dragon Pulse, get it down to the yellow, and his second ice beam will be able to take out my Caratina. Now, I'm going to send out my Ferrothorn and just try to stall this thing out as much as I can. But, I'm going to go for the Protect here to recover the rock, Stealth Rock damage with my leftovers. And his Aura Sphere is going to just annihilate me. So, I'm just going to try to stall it out. Maybe have my Ferrothorn later if it survives. And then his Mewtwo is now going to go for the Aura Sphere here. And is going to bring me down quite far and into the yellow. Which is not good for me. But the Life Orb does not kill him. It's so frustrating. I'm just going to set up the spikes here. Just trying to get as many hazards as I can up. So it will make it easier for my shaman just to go all out and kill everything so I'm just going to go for the protect and try to heal off as much as I can and hope somehow I'll be able to survive another aura sphere even though that will never happen at my HP so heal with leftovers and then I'm going to try to set up the second layer of spikes since my Ferrothorn is pretty much dead, but he is going to be able to outspeed me and take out my Ferrothorn with an Aura Sphere. And he's also gonna get um, killed by his Life Orb that his Mewtwo carries. So now that it is a blind switch in, on blind switch ins, I have my ultimate Genesect to cover those. So I'm going to send out Genesect here with the Expert Belt and four different moves. And the special attack is going to go up to according to his defenses, which is really, really good for me. So I can, my Ice Beam can totally annihilate this Garatina. So now I am just going to go for the Ice Beam here. And it's going to, it seems to be a pretty bulky Garatina, seeing that the boosted ice beam does not kill him it brings him down right to about 30 hp or so left so he's gonna go for the aura sphere and that is going to bring me down to 144 hp now i'm just gonna cause another blind switch in and go for the u-turn so now we oh that doesn't cause a blind switch in does it i don't think it does but now I am going to send out my Shaman, my ultimate Miracle Seed, Seed Flare Killing Shaman. And he is going to go back 
into his Dialga. And I'm thinking, I, I wasn't really thinking straight here because I'm going to go for the Seed Flare, thinking that a Miracle Seed Seed Flare could possibly do quite a lot to him. And it's going really to do nothing to this Dialga. But that is okay, because it is not going to kill my ultimate Shaman anytime soon. Not that it ever does, because it doesn't. Now, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power. I actually didn't know what the Hidden Power was at it at the time. So, I just go for the Hidden Power, hoping that it will kill it. But then I start looking, actually looking at the moves I have. I'm like, oh wait, I have Earth Power. So, um, I feel really stupid here and go for the Earth Power to take out the Dialga. And he is just going to switch into his Dioxys, which due to Stealth Rocks will die. And that will be a game, the game. So, good game to Kenshin. He does not have a YouTube so, um, I won't be posting, like, a link in the description or anything. But, thank you guys so much for watching. And please subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles coming soon. Planning to make some RU and some NU maybe next. So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.